Hi! Today we have new video review with a uh, kit from our new collaborator. As you can see, it's a model uh, manufacturer company. And as you can see, it's 144 scale airplane uh, BA10, uh, which was called in NATO as a Melo. So, the box itself is not that big. As you can see here, comparison with my hand uh, shows that it's quite tiny. Uh, we have this photo of the aircraft on the box art. Then on the sides we have some pictures of other available uh, hydroplanes and also we have some information about the kit that here we would find P thread, decals, also of course plastic parts and assembly manual. So <clears throat> this is top opening box and inside we find a bunch of sprues which are packed into the same ziplock bag. Just give me a second to open them. Okay. So, first we will check sprue which carries uh, wing parts. And I have to say that molding quality is average, as you can see on the video, because we have. Uh, quite thick plastic, you can hear it, and uh, the molding quality is not that good because there are plenty of uh, flesh around the parts. Here you can see here, and also I saw somewhere on the wing. Nevertheless, as you can see, uh, all mechanization parts are molded together with wing parts. There are no position pins inside. And both parts feature recess panel lines, but I would rather deepen them because you could you can lose them under a layer of the primer. Next, we have another plastic sprue which carries uh, some external parts. Uh, again, as you can see, thick plastic was used. Uh, recessed panel lines are present, and there are plenty of minor parts can be found here. Even dashboard, as you can see here quite tiny dashboard. Inside again there are no position pins and no guiding elements at all. And as a plastic sprue, more external parts and molding quality is a bit better because I don't see any flesh on the parts. Uh, recess panel lines are still not that deep as they could be but other than that they look more or less okay. Next we have a uh, sprue, let's say frame with fuselage parts. This uh, fuselage is divided into two parts and as you can see it features recessed panel lines and special uh, let's say cutout for the wing part. Last but not the least is a small uh, grey plastic with wheel parts here you can see it and also you can note that one part was broken off here but it was packed into the separate bag so manufacturer was aware of that note that even tiny parts are carefully molded so I guess with some due care and uh, careful painting as well you would get a nice result. Then we have separately packed um, transparent parts. Transparent plastic parts uh, look a bit warpy, but I guess uh, this quality would do in the scale because anyway you wouldn't be able to open the canopy or open the doors to show the inner components of the aircraft. Then we have uh, PE thread, which is unpainted and it contains more various parts for fine detailization of your B10 model. Just give me a second to remove it from the back. Okay, so here you can see it. As you can see, even wing sweats will be replicated with PE parts. Uh, another component decal sheet 
uh, which is printed in really so so quality because you can see it on the video and I hope that they will be uh, easy to apply at least on your aircraft model and of course assembly manual which is printed in black and white we have a uh, short history of the airplane written in English and Russian on the first page uh, some use symbols explanation, used paints then parts map and then starts assembly process which is explained as you can see with help of the 3D images looks a little bit let's say busy but I think it would be easy to guess what you have to do in this or that situation uh, moreover we have here uh, several marking options one two three and four and also decal placement guide is similar for both for all four marking versions because I mean you will have to place just stars and that's all so uh, this is not all for this review because you can check full review article on our website and as usual I would like to recommend you to subscribe to YouTube channel which you are watching in the moment and like our Facebook group. Thank you for watching once again and see you soon.